Now to a story the Target 12 investigators broke first. A long running mystery finally solved. The FBI says the remains were covered from behind the North Dartmouth home belonged to a New England mob associate who's been missing since 1980. Donald Eugene Webb was the prime suspect in the murder of a Pennsylvania police chief. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been on top of every major development in this stunning case. He's here now with the latest. Tim. A lawyer connected to the case tells me the ex-wife of Donald Eugene Webb was promised immunity from prosecution, so she led authorities to a body buried behind a shed in her backyard. After hours of digging, human remains discovered Thursday night behind this house in North Dartmouth. Now the FBI says they belong to Donald Eugene Webb, wanted in the December 1980 shooting death of Saxonburg, Pennsylvania Police Chief Gregory Adams. Ultimately uh, found their man. Uh, they didn't forget him. They honored the chief. Target 12 reached attorney Thomas King by phone. He represents the widow of Gregory Adams. We've not been told how he died uh, or whether anyone's determined how he died. Uh, nor have we been told who buried him. The FBI says Webb died sometime around 1999. That's 19 years after Adams was shot and killed. As Target 12 previously reported, a civil suit filed against Webb's ex-wife, Lillian Webb, claimed there was a secret room inside the North Dartmouth home where a cane was discovered. Investigators have not confirmed that information. Along with that relief comes the, the, the sadness that it took this long for uh, Mrs. Webb to lead us to the whereabouts of Donald Eugene Webb and that uh, Donald Eugene Webb escaped uh, this life uh, and, you know, without serving time for this particular crime. Now, the FBI offered a reward of $100,000 for information leading to Webb's arrest or his remains coming up new at 6 o'clock. We let you know. What happens to that money? Mike, Caroline? Tim, remind us the connection Webb had to the uh, mob in Rhode Island. Well, the FBI says, as we previously uh, reported, that Webb was a prolific thief and he would hit up banks and jewelry stores up and down the East Coast. Then he would bring those ill-gotten gains uh, back to Providence and fence it through the New England mob here. That's what investigators say he was doing in Pennsylvania. He was on a robbery job when he allegedly shot the police chief. Absolutely fascinating mm. case. Thanks, Tim. We're going to have more details on these major developments online at WPRI.com. And the Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to send a tip or report government waste, you can call our tip line at 228-1763 or email us at Target 12 at WPRI.com. First at 6, the Target 12 investigators have more on today's stunning developments in a long-running mystery. The FBI confirms they have recovered the remains of a man they've been looking for for nearly four decades. New England mob associate Donald Eugene Webb was discovered buried behind a North Dartmouth home. He was the prime suspect in the 1980 shooting death of a police chief. Target 12 investigator Tim White broke this story, and he's here now with the latest. Tim. The FBI says Donald Eugene Webb died sometime in 1999. That means he was able to hide out for 19 years while police across the country were trying to track him down. In the end, it took shovels to unearth answers in a long running mystery. What happened to fugitive Donald Eugene Webb? I received a call uh, just uh, moments ago from the FBI. Attorney Thomas King broke the news to Target 12 in a phone interview. He represents the widow of Saxonburg Police Chief Gregory Adams. Authorities say Webb gunned Adams down during a routine traffic stop in December 1980. We've not been told how he died uh, or whether anyone's determined how he died. Uh, nor have we been told who buried him. King says Webb's ex-wife Lillian Webb led authorities to the remains buried behind a shed in her backyard because she was granted immunity from prosecution. As Target 12 previously reported, a civil suit brought by the Adams family claims the FBI found a secret room inside the home. The FBI has declined to comment. They didn't forget him. They honored the chief. And uh, despite how many years it took. The current police chief of Saxonburg, Pennsylvania, drove 11 hours to be part of what turned out to be a major development. That's very important. That's uh, the biggest question mark in, uh, in our town. Now, there was a $100,000 reward offered for information leading to closure on this case. But the FBI says that money will not be paid out because his location was dis discovered as part 
of their investigation. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tim. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to send a tip or report government waste, you can call our tip line at 228-1763 or email us at target12 at wpri.com.